My friend and I were discussing the question today, what really makes people change? And this friend has sold millions of dollars in his own courses and other people's courses. And he's in the space of helping people start businesses and change their lives. And what we were talking about is just how a lot of people that invest in these programs still don't make a change in their lives. And a year later, they're still in the same position. They're working the same job. They haven't really taken any of the steps. And it's not about the information. Information is a commodity now. It can be found everywhere on YouTube for free in books, wherever. It's not hard to find the information, but why is it that some people change their lives and other people don't? And thinking about this, what I believe makes people change is one of two things. The first one is emotional leverage, which means they either have to feel so much pain that staying in the same place is no longer a viable option, or they start taking action and feel so much joy from taking the action that they keep taking it. That's the first way. The second way is a change of environment, moving cities, moving friend groups, completely changing your surroundings and growing into a new person, new version of yourself. It's so much easier to do that when you do change your environment. But the truth is for a lot of people, the only way they'll actually change is when they feel so much pain that change is the only option. But until they feel that, they often won't do anything. And oftentimes the, the city you're from, the city you're born in, where you have your friends from childhood or high school or whatever, that's not gonna be the best environment for you to grow in. Because you're gonna be subconsciously fulfilling your old identity, which is not getting you anywhere. So this year I've spent a lot of time in another country in Medellin. This is Vancouver here. This is where I'm from in British Columbia in Canada. And I'm back for a couple of weeks. And my friend is also actually moving out of Canada for a period of time to try out a new environment. And we were talking about how we've gotten all the growth we can get in this city. And we want more uncertainty, more new experiences in our lives. And if I could go back in time to when I was first starting my business, 26 years old, I would, if I did it again, change the environment I was in. I, I did build my business in the same city that I'm from. And I think it actually made it harder because I was like competing against the gravity and the inertia of who I used to be. And it was harder to forge myself into a new person. So if you're watching this video and you want to start a business, which most people who watch my channel do, and you've been struggling to actually make, take decisive action and change your life, what I would invite you to do is try changing your environment. Just commit for six months. I'm gonna go live in this other city, in this other country for six months. Most countries will let you stay there for six months without having to get any visas or anything. It's actually very easy. Sub rent, rent out your apartment and wherever you're from, change everything and try out being a new version of yourself. And the thing people don't realize is that you can always come home. Like your hometown's always gonna be there waiting for you and probably not much will have changed when you do come home. And you have so much more to lose by not trying that than by following through and taking action. And I've talked to people who hire me to coach them where they've spent 10, 20, $30,000 on courses and programs and they all haven't worked. And the reason they haven't worked is not because the information in those programs was not good. It's because the person didn't have the right mindset and identity and wasn't actually able to change who they were. It doesn't matter how much information you have. That's not going to be what gets you across the line. The truth is change is very hard and most people who want to change won't be able to. So if you want to be the exception of someone that actually does change and makes it work, I think you either need to find extreme emotional leverage or you need a complete change of your environment. Let me know in the comments below what's something in your life you can change this month.